In today's video, we're going to be talking about the spot price of silver climbing up to $27 an ounce, the stack price of silver climbing up to $32 an ounce, and why I'm so long-term focused when it comes to stacking the precious metals. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I want to talk about the spot price of silver climbing all the way up to the $27 an ounce mark, and also how I'm stacking for the future we're going to get into it but really quick just in case you're new make sure to subscribe for daily videos also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content brand new video over there go check it out the link will be in the description and if you want to get some dyds merchandise to help support the channel i would really 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 appreciate it any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated but today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021. It's currently 61 degrees outside. I'm seeing nothing but clouds. I think it's about to rain, but I'm sitting out here anyway because why be inside when you can be outside? I want to enjoy the day. The current spot price of silver as I'm recording the video is $26.86. I know that's not $27, but it did hit $27 earlier this morning. I just unfortunately did not get a screenshot. And that means it's up about 95 cents. And gold, as I'm recording the video, is $1,791 even, which means it's up about $21.90. The gold to silver ratio currently is between the 1 in 66 and 1 in 68 range. So for those of you who are watching right now, what I just said was as I'm recording the video, not as I'm editing, not as I'm posting, or not as you're watching, so head on down to the comments and let me know what the current spot price of silver and or gold is for you as you're viewing the video. So today I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. The spot price of silver did hit $27 earlier this morning. I wish I got a screenshot of it, but I just missed it. And that means that the stack price went all the way up to $32 an ounce. Anybody who's familiar with my channel knows exactly what I'm talking about when I say the stack price. Stack price is a concept that I came up with. It's spot plus about five because that is pretty much the bare minimum out the door cost nowadays because of the premiums. However, spot price and stack price only went up about a dollar from where the market closed last week, that is. I just want to say, because I know a lot of people are jumping up and down right now. A lot of people are screaming, No, oh my God, no, it's going to the moon today and I'm not going to be able to get up on the rocket ship. But it's important to remember, don't get too excited, don't get too crazy over such a small move, thinking that this is going to keep going in that direction. Spot price is probably going to be in the red again sometime during this week. Goes up, it goes down. Up today, down tomorrow. Up the next, down the next. That's how silver works that's how silver moves that's what silver has been doing since the creation of the dollar bill this is nothing new so don't get too out of control one dollar up or one dollar down really isn't anything big you'd need to be picking up hundreds potentially thousands of troy ounces at a time to even really notice much of a difference but when it comes to the silver and also when it comes to the gold, but primarily silver. I'm going to keep stacking it. Regardless of what the spot price is doing, I might be forced to cut back on how much silver I'm able to pick up for obvious reasons. I'm still making the same amount of currency at work, so there's a slight reduction in how much money I can get in exchange for my currency, but I'm going to keep on stacking. And I do have some silver on the way, the Type 2 American Silver Eagles. They're currently on the way. Well, they're not currently on the way. They'll soon be on the way. I just pre-ordered a handful of those a couple days ago. If you watched the video that I posted, I believe on Saturday, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Pretty excited about those. I did, however, unfortunately, pay a little bit higher of a premium than what I'm personally comfortable with. I just did it because I thought it would make for a fun video, getting the brand new Silver Eagles. Even though I'm not that big of a fan of the design, it is what it is. It's an exciting time to be stacking. I have no idea what the premiums are going to be like moving forward. 
on the Silver Eagles. Of course, it is the number one most recognizable, sought after, trusted, and respected pure silver, one troy ounce coin that exists. So I personally don't foresee the premiums on Silver Eagles coming down anytime soon, potentially ever at all. So, with that being said, I picked up a couple of Silver Eagles just for fun. But as of right now, I don't plan on going back to stacking them. I'll stack what I can get my hands on for a fair, preferably as low as possible premium. That's where my focus will be for the time being. I don't care what the piece of silver is. I don't care if it's a maple leaf. I don't care if it's an eagle. I don't care if it's a generic silver round or bar. I don't care if it's 90%. I'll get what I can get my hands on. Because I'm not stacking silver so that I can have a very particular piece of silver in my possession. I'm after the physical silver content. That's all I care about right now. So anything I could do to break down the premiums and get the most money for my currency is what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to worry too much about the spot price. I'm also not going to worry too much about the stack price. I'm not going to worry too much about the premiums. Of course, I'm going to shop around and see where I can get the most bang for my buck. But I'm not going to let it ruin my day. I'm not going to let it control how I'm feeling. I'm not going to let it interfere with my productivity. I'm not going to worry too much about how many dollars it takes to acquire silver. Because I see silver as a physical at-home savings account, simply a store of value. So I'm not going to worry about how many dollars it takes to acquire silver, just like I don't worry about the purchasing power of the dollar bill as my direct deposit hits my checking account. That, to me, does not matter. That, to me, could not be less relevant. Of course, stacking silver and the amount of dollars it takes to convert into each individual troy ounce of silver is a little bit different than a paycheck or a direct deposit hitting your checking account I understand that, but it's just a simple analogy. I'm not going to worry too much about what is out of my control. I'm not going to worry too much about what's out of my hands. It is what it is, and it's not what it's not. That's something that my friend's father taught me when I was a kid, and it's stuck with me ever since. It's true if you think about it. It is what it is, and it's not what it's not. Nothing we can do about it. However, there is something we can do about it, not about reducing spot price, not about reducing premiums necessarily, but there are other ways to stay focused. There are other ways to stay busy. Now, I've talked about several different ways of prepping over the course of the last few years, and really, especially over the last couple of weeks, I've been really big on the four key products that have helped me quite a bit over the last year or so. Number one would be the Big Berkey Water Purification System. Two would be the Nesco Food Dehydrator to make fruits and vegetables last a whole lot longer. Three would be the Jackery Explorer 500 Portable Power Station. And four would be the Solo Stove Campfire Portable Fire Pit and Cooking Stove. If you're interested in any of those products, if you want to read a little bit more about them or potentially get them for yourself, of course, I always leave the Amazon affiliate links in the description in case you want to go check them out. So there are other ways to stay busy during times where you might feel that spot price is too high for you or premiums are beyond your comfort zone. There's always something else to do. There's always another way to stay busy, stay productive, and keep moving forward even if you have to take a step away from one form of prepping, even if it might be financial prepping, and focus on food prepping, focus on this type of prepping or that type of prepping. There's always something to do, but even if you don't want to leave the financial prepping realm, even if you feel like there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, which by the way, there is, if you think the job's over, clock out, go home. We don't want you working here. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. And as far as I'm concerned, it's essentially a project that will never be finished, so I plan on working on it as much as I can, day in and day out, for pretty much the rest of my life. But if silver has gotten to the point or eventually gets to the point where it's out of reach for you if the spot price goes up too much or the premiums go up too much and it's just a pain in the neck, you could always very easily move on over to gold. Now, of course, spot price of gold 
is astronomical in comparison to the spot price of silver. However, gold has a lot of pros. Gold offers some pretty nice features that silver does not, such as stability. Gold does a far better job holding its value. Of course, we see dips. Of course, March of 2020, when everything came crashing down, gold was knocked down by a couple hundred bucks. Of course, we see something like that happen from time to time to time. But silver, if you look at the charts week to week to week, it's all over the place, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Crazy volatility, which to me isn't that big of a deal. But for somebody who is looking for more stability, if somebody is looking for something that doesn't move around that dramatically, gold does a little bit better of a job holding still, sitting tight, and slowly but surely working its way in an upward direction. Silver, on the other hand, it does move in an upward direction. It does have that upward trajectory, but it has some crazy, crazy dips along the way. Ten steps up, five steps down. Four steps up, three steps down. Seven steps up, six steps down. Four steps up, two steps down. Three steps up, one step down. And it just seems to move in that upward direction, which is obviously what I like about silver, and also what I like about gold is the stability, I guess you can say. But point being is that there's always something else to do. And even though the spot price of gold is crazy in comparison to the spot price of silver, the premiums are much more fair on the beautiful yellow metal, at least right now at the moment. So there's always different ways of financially preparing yourself. You could even get into platinum and palladium if you want. For me personally, full disclosure, I do not stack platinum, I do not stack palladium, I don't stack rhodium, and I don't plan on stacking any of those metals. I'm going to stick to silver and gold for the time being. I have no plan of ever stacking platinum or palladium or rhodium at this point. That's obviously subject to change, but I don't believe it will. I'm gonna keep focusing on the silver and the gold. And as I've been saying for the last couple of years, what I would like to do, hopefully in a perfect world, which unfortunately we do not live in, but if I'm ever able to time it right, what I would like to do if and when the gold to silver ratio gap drastically closes in is trade a little bit of silver for some gold. Because when it comes to silver, I've always said that I think silver is the opportunity metal because in my opinion, I think it has far more room to grow and perform over time. Of course, it has that crazy volatility. Of course, it can drop a lot in the blink of an eye, but it can go up in the blink of an eye as well. And if I'm able to time it right, I can trade a little bit of silver for a little bit of gold. Obviously, not all my silver for it, not most of my silver for it, not even half of my silver for it, just a little bit, just a handful, maybe a couple tubes of silver coins or silver rounds or something like that. It really doesn't matter. I mean, right now, as I said earlier in the video, the gold to silver ratio is in the 66 to 68 to one range. That's a little bit too far apart for me. Now, it might not be for you, but for me, I don't want to trade any silver for gold when the ratio is in the 60s, especially the high 60s. When we get into the 50s, if and when we get into the 50s, that's when I would say, Okay, now we're talking, can we see 1 to 40? If we got into the 40s, absolutely at that point, I would begin trading a little bit of silver for a little bit of gold. And guess what? If we ever went into the 30s or ever went into the 20s, which, to be honest, I don't know if I can really see that happening, but anything's possible, I would absolutely cr keep trading silver for gold at that point. Now, I wouldn't trade any gold for silver, even if the gold to silver ratio went to 200 or even 300. I would not trade gold for silver. Absolutely not. Now, you can if you want to, but for me, heck no. Now, of course, it's important to remember that even though I shared some of my strategies, some of my plans, some of what my attention is on right now, this is not financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. So make sure you do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. But the conclusion that I came to over the last couple of years of stacking is that 
I see silver as the opportunity metal. I see gold as the powerhouse metal. And if and when the gold to silver ratio gap closes in, I would like to trade some silver for some gold because at the end of the day, I'm stacking for the future. I'm stacking for my future. That's what my plan is moving forward. Now, who knows what the future holds, but I personally believe in silver. I personally believe in gold. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. What are your thoughts on the spot price of silver being up by 95 cents? Like I said before, it's not really all that serious. It's not that deep. It's not that dramatic, but it is up. It's a green day for silver. It's also a green day for gold. Head on down to the comments and let me know if you have any silver or gold on the way and which of the two metals are you prioritizing at this moment. Between silver and gold, spot price, premiums, stack price being considered, where is your attention right now in terms of the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm also posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. Just posted one on Saturday. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Just posted one about ordering silver and gold online, one about teaching your kids about silver and gold, one about the tech stock sell-off we've been seeing, one about recovery stocks, one about the credit card crackdown, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit. 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, when it comes to stacking silver and even stacking gold, which of the two metals are you prioritizing right now? And when it comes to stacking either of the precious metals, do you focus a little bit more on the short term or the long term? Does silver going up by 95 cents or if silver were to go down by 95 cents, would that be a big dramatic ordeal for you? Or do you personally not worry about it too much? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.